Today, I open a box of 2023 Panini Prism Baseball. What kind of surprises does this little box have in store for me? All right, good afternoon, everybody. Today, I am going to be opening the fourth box, the last box of December. It's a 2023 Prism Baseball. Um, this rounds out the month of December's uh, box openings. We started with 2023 Archives, 23 Tops Chrome. Last week we did Alan and Ginter from 23, and now we're doing Prism. Uh, I have the box openings, the breaks, if you will, the blaster breaks for January up in the store. It's in the link below. And before I start getting into this, if you could, please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, that'll help grow the channel and to be notified when uh, I've got new videos, go ahead and hit that notification bell. All right, so I'm going to go into this. This is not going to have modern day players with maybe a few exceptions. Um, it's going to be prospects and retired veterans so if you like to collect some of the old timers this is not a bad product um, likewise with um, the prospects and some of the rookies especially those that may not have been in the mainline product at the start of the season like Ellie Dela Cruz so we've got six packs uh, five cards each so 30 cards. Let's go. So we've got Rafael Palmero, Adele Amador, Fred Lynn. We've got some color back there. George Valera. That it it didn't at first it did not quite seem like it was a silver prism but it just had this sheen to it didn't quite see the prismatic effect but sure enough i turn it and there it is george flara silver prism and then behind that a blue blue ice i think it is jt ginn oakland it is not numbered but What I am going to go ahead and put that up on the stage. Put this one in a sleeve. Protect that nice finish. All right. Back there a bit. There we go. bottom. So we've got some color on the back. Looks like we've got an insert in there. So John Rojas, Carson Williams, Eric Chavez, and we've got the blueprints, Ricky Henderson. This looks like an older card from late 90s, I believe. It had a similar kind of look to it. Not shiny, of course. Um, and it's one I had, I think I might have sold it recently. And another blue prism, Gabriel Hughes. This is a nice insert, Ricky Henderson. Let me put that in this. Yeah. It is Ricky, so I'm going to put that up there, and then put... All right. So the retail exclusive is the green prism. We've got two blues, no greens yet. Next pack. This 
one doesn't want to give up the goods. There we go. And again, we got more blue. So we've got Mastaka Yoshida, Orlando Cepeda, William McCovey. There's the green. Roberto Alomar in the green. And a Luis Aparicio, I guess. All right. More color. I do really like seeing color parallels, even if they are not numbered. Uh, contrary to some people's opinions, I do have commentary on that. Uh, so you'll be able to click that link right up above there. And you can hear my commentary on the, pro the prolific color parallels. Right, filling up the stage here, but that's fine. It's nice looking cards, and that's kind of the goal here. Now, obviously, I'd want somebody that is a from the Blue Jays, but this is not a very strong checklist when it comes to the Blue Jays. I think Ricky Tiemann's in here. Um, let's see if we get anything from him. It'll be nice to get that in a blue. So, Blake. Burkhalter, Bill Mazeroski, Warren Spahn, got a Willie Mays old ball game, and a Daniel Espino for Cleveland. We're running out of space here. Looks like you get one blue for every pack. That means they are not going to be common. I mean, they are going to be common. Sorry, they're not going to be uncommon. So, I mean, I do have some of the prisms uh, with some Blue Jay players, but I do not have the blues, so this means I should not have a hard time finding them in that, that parallel. So, we've got Brooks Lee... Michael Bush, Carlos Berga, and Yuri Perez, Future Tools, and then the Mason Hour, Tampa Bay. So even though, yes, we get one per, they do look nice. I am a fan of colored parallels, so yes, I am going to go ahead and put them up there anyway. That one has a nice finish on it. I am going to sleeve that up. Go. All right, last, but hopefully not least. Something going on there. All right, we've got Francisco Alvarez, Bill Terry, Pedro Martinez. Sedan Rafael, Fielding, 2080 20 scale. And then we got a Heine Grow Cincinnati in the blue parallel. Definitely a different uh, experience compared to the hobby boxes. The hobby boxes, we got autographs. Um, and we had some parallels. Though not this, not the blues or the greens. The greens obviously exclusive. So uh, before I go, please hit that like and the subscribe. Again, it helps me grow the channel. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this content. We've got more on the way. Uh, I will see you again later.